Hello and welcome to our first vlog on how to develop effective in vitro assays for early drug discovery. Bioassays are essential tools for preclinical research. By revealing whether a compound or a biologic has a desired effect on our target, bioassays can drive the decision-making process throughout the drug discovery pipeline, ultimately bringing new drugs to the patients. In this video, we will be discussing some key points that need to be kept in mind whilst developing bioassays for reliable compound progression. First of all, let's see where do bioassays fit in early drug discovery. Target identification. How is the target relevant to the disease and how is your drug going to help patients? Target validation. Check the target is relevant to disease progression and a valid candidate for investigation. Hit discovery or hit optimization. Develop primary, secondary, and technology interference assays and apply medicinal chemistry to optimize the compound's potency. In vitro lead identification or lead optimization. Perform efficacy profiling and safety testing using plate based assays in cells relevant to the target mechanism of disease. In vivo lead discovery. Use animal models of the disease to assess the target's mechanism of action, efficacy and safety. Candidate lead selection. The lead molecule will only progress to human clinical trials if it achieves the desired efficacy and safety profile. The right bioassay could make all the difference to finding a drug that could have a positive impact on a patient's life. At the outset, we need to understand what bioassay would be most suitable for our stage of research. Will this be in isolation using a biochemical assay, by expression of the target in a recombinant cellular background, or by measuring a phenotypic response related to the bioactivity of the target? But choosing one of these approaches isn't as simple as it may seem. It's often a case of weighing up what's more important, using a more physiologically relevant bioassay or one that maximizes the efficiency by which you can screen thousands and even millions of compounds. Applying these general principles to the bioassay development will undoubtedly help your research. However, several other questions need to be addressed. Like, are you sure you're maximizing the sensitivity and specificity of your bioassays to properly prosecute your target? What are the compound's binding properties? And is it toxic to cells? We know how important addressing the quality, reliability and consistency of bioassays is to preclinical research. So, we have compiled our best recommendations in our free ebook because we are determined to help you discover the next breakthrough drug. Follow the link in the description to download our free ebook and stay tuned for our next vlog where we will discuss key principles of asset design for project success. Contact us to learn more about our capabilities and services and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos.